good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. This is Film My Run on Zwift. My name is Stephen Cousins and we are broadcasting live around the world on Facebook, on Twitch.tv, on Mixer and on YouTube. While we're getting everything set up, it would be absolutely awesome if you could go and subscribe to the Film My Run YouTube channel and also the Zwift Runs and Rides YouTube channel. You can also find us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Film My Run, on Twitter at Film My Run, and you can also go to the website which is www.filmmyrun.com. It's very nearly time, so sit back, relax, and watch me do all the hard work. Good afternoon, it's four minutes to four. We are going to run 10 kilometers, 10 kilometers through the jungle. And hopefully the Zwift HQ team will be able to get some decent shots. Anybody who is watching the stream, my audio sounds very choppy at the moment. So if you can feed back to me, whether the audio is choppy or not, and if it's, if it's smooth, then that's okay. Ollie says, this is my third run today. It is my third run today, Ollie, but I'm training for a long run. So um, actually, if you add all the runs together, it's only 20 miles. And that's what I would normally do on a Sunday anyway. So I think we're all right. I won't be uh, blasting off this one though. Scotty says, am I looking forward to the arc? In a kind of intensive way. Yes, I am. It's going to be good. It's going to be pretty scary, but it'll be all right. Gethin says he wants to get this. Gethin, get on it. Get yourself a foot pod and, uh, and go for it. Get yourself on the treadmill at the gym or something like that. Get your iPod and your iPad. Sync up to Zwift and you're away. Anyone want to give me feedback about my stream? Because my... Um, Headphones are chopping all over the place. The music is all over the place. Tim says, yeah, first kilometer 10. I think that's a good idea. First kilometer at 10 and then we'll speed up from there. Scott, I'm not filming the arc, no. I'm gonna try and run. Yeah, that's that's cool, Tim. I'll we'll do ten for the first kilometer and then twelve after that. Okay, thanks for the feedback on the sound. It must be the battery in my headphones must be going then because I'm chopping all over them. It's awful. I have to take them off eventually. Stop that runner! There's a runner running past. Stop him! So we should be going in about two minutes. The reason we're standing still is because we don't want to run off and leave everyone behind. So yeah, people are saying this is my third run today. It is my third run today. I did 10k this morning and then I went out and did a hill session 15 kilometers this afternoon. And then this is my last run of the day, 10K. But I am training for a very, very long run um, in two weeks. I'm doing 100 miles around the coast of Cornwall. I'm going to try and do it in uh, a fairly decent time. So I don't want to um, 
I don't want to skimp on the training. So altogether today would be about 20 miles, just a bit over 20 miles. So okay, run when we hit 1600 hours. Stop. Going in a minute. I promise you we're going in a minute. <laughs> right, I'm going now. That's uh, that's 1600 on my watch. Go, let's go, let's go. Why am I not going? Come on. Oh, I don't believe it. I'm not going, am I? I'm not moving. I'm running, but I'm not moving. Oh, there I am. Finally. Oh, no. What's going on with my thing? I seem to have a bit of a problem, I think. Come on. My computer's tired. It's been on all day. So, yeah, we've got a little problem here. My, my computer is playing up. <laughs> That's funny. They've got runners all over the place, look. <laughs> How funny. <laughs> I've never seen <laughs> anything so hilarious. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> oh, I'm sorry! <laughs> Brilliant! Now, if that doesn't make awesome video, I don't know what will. <laughs> oh dear! Brilliant! Well, uh, right, Joe says, have I got the issues sorted with the stride? Uh, yes, I think I have. Um, I went out for a run um, this afternoon with it on my foot in the real world to check that it was actually giving me decent pace and, and distance. And it matched my watch and it was fine. So um, then I've come back the treadmill and actually calibrated it with Zwift on the treadmill um, and it seems to be fine now although it did take an age to start just now to wake up um, but I do have some computer problems at the moment so I seem to be glitching all over the place I don't know if it's in the stream as well but it seems very weird at the moment So we're doing 10 kilometers through the jungle and the point of this run is because Zwift are getting very near to releasing running to the general public as a beta program. We've been testing it for the past year with kind of secret access and uh, more and more people start to join Zwift running. So today, Swift are recording this event. Thankfully, they're not recording my stream because it's terrible. 
recording this event um, from their own servers and they're going to use the footage to promote Zwift running in advertising. So if you see um, on your Facebook stream adverts for Zwift running with footage of people running through a jungle, that will be this run. says Chris Gregory says it's good to see such a good pack yeah we actually had a massive pack this morning um, we did a, a 10k run around the normal Watopia at 9 a.m. today which was also filmed um, for Zwift's promotional purposes and um, there was 91 runners out on course and uh, so we haven't got quite as many this afternoon, but certainly a decent bunch. It's just such a shame that my stream seems to be choppy and all over the place. So I can only apologise. You've got a whole other nine kilometres of this to go. And there's not, not a lot I can do now, now we've started. It was all right on the bike. When I cycled up to the jungle, um, it's eight kilometers, nine kilometers to cycle from where you log in to the jungle where we started the run. Nine kilometers, so I wasn't gonna run there, so um, I got on my bike. And when I was on my bike, it was fine. Oh, I don't know why it's suddenly gone all choppy. Funnily enough, the music doesn't seem quite as bad now as it was earlier on. Anyway. So I am looking at Facebook chat. If you are watching, good on you for sticking with it. And um, if you want to ask a question, then cool, go ahead. Right, Tim has gone up to 12k, so let's go up to something near that. Speed up a bit. There we are. Now, I'm almost tempted to log out and log back in again. It's madness. This jungle route is uh, one of several routes that you can take through Watopia. There, look, there's a sloth hanging down in the middle of the track. Watopia is the new, uh, the jungle route is the newest route on Watopia. It's got some Mayan ruins, some big waterfalls and it's very beautiful. You can also run up a mountain into the snow. You can run through the middle of a volcano. Lots to play with. You can run under the water even in glass tunnels.
I'm very tempted to um, to log out of Zwift and log back in again and just join runners who are already running through the jungle. Because for me, I don't know about you, whether the stream is the same, but my computer is glitching and stopping and starting all over the place. Um, I'm trying to catch you up actually Tim but yeah I might I might log out and just log back in again because my computer's really playing up. If I'm gonna do it, best to do it early. Um, thanks for the ride on Lopez. I don't know if it will make any difference, to be honest. Thanks for the ride on Varna. Right, I'm doing it. Guys, bear with me, okay? I'm gonna stop running. I'm gonna log out. The stream should continue. The stream will continue. So don't, don't log out of the stream. I'm just going to stop running. I'm going to go to menu and, sa and save it. Save the run. Zwift will close. And then I'm going to reopen Zwift and see if that makes things any better. Because at the moment, I'm, it's, I'm struggling to enjoy it. Right, so we press log in again. If you want to ask anything now while I'm not running, now's the time to be honest. So I am looking at Facebook. Taking forever as always. Whenever you want it to be quick, it just takes forever to load up, doesn't it? But if you've never seen Zwift before, that you'll see now how to log in and and how to uh, choose the route that you want to go on. So bear with me. That was hilarious at the beginning, watching all the riders and the runners going all over the road. Hilarious. Right, so I'm automatically logging in. I've got my credentials saved, so it just logs me in, me in automatically. Login successful, ride on. So now my heart rate has already been selected and um, so is my foot pod. And I just need to be my Thing. Oh, I can't even move my mouse now. What is going on here? So I need to go and run with Tim. See Tim listed there. If I can get my there. Are. So click on Tim and run with Tim. That should log me back straight in to uh, to where Tim is. But I need to be running. So let's get going. Right, I've got no one around me. Oh yeah, there we are. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Right, there we are, we're back on. But it looks to me like nothing has changed, has it? Is it still glitchy? I think it might be better. 
think it's better. Fingers crossed. Okay, let's see if we can catch anyone up. Apologies for that, guys. Doesn't happen very often. Um, but today, my computer has worked rather hard. Thank you, Litchfield. So we're just trying to catch up with, with Tim. Tim Gross, who is our usual run leader. Kerry says she made it this time. Well done, Kerry. Thanks for the ride on Krista. Back with you now. I can slow down a bit as well, can't I? If you are interested in running on Zwift, then you do need a few things. First and foremost, access to a treadmill. You may have your own, you may need to go to a gym, but it doesn't matter what kind of treadmill you use. Secondly, if you are on a Mac or a PC, you will need a foot pod. And that foot pod needs to be an Ant Plus foot pod. It needs to broadcast in Ant Plus. You will also need a USB stick to plug into your computer or Mac, and that will receive the signal from your Ant Plus foot pod. If you're using an iOS device, it could be an iPad, an iPhone, or even Apple TV, then you will need a Bluetooth foot pod, specifically a smart Bluetooth foot pod. You can get them from Polar, you can get a Stride, or you can get a Milestone foot pod. These all connect direct to your iOS device, so there's no need for anything extra. And that really is all you need to run on Zwift. So get that foot pod, get access to a treadmill, and we'll see you on Zwift very soon. Nice, uh, nice section of the run, this, with the stalactites, the stalagmites, and the water under the boardwalk, and the waterfall, very pretty. James Campbell says, thanks Stephen and Tim, enjoyed that. He's had enough, he's off. <laughs> I hope when I log, no, so when I logged out, I didn't log everybody else who was following me out, did I? Surely not, no, that doesn't happen. That would be hilarious. If everyone who clicked on follow me at the start of the run, and when I log off, everyone else disappears as well. <laughs> it doesn't happen, that doesn't happen, I promise you. Oh, John Hancock couldn't make it. Ah, he's got football with his kid, hasn't he? Oh, one of our regular runners, John Hancock. He ran with us this morning. Often organises a Saturday morning run, run in the park. Kay Driscoll has gone to a new level, Wendell K. She's levelled up. There are only 10 levels in running. So uh, once you get to level 10, although your points continue to rack up behind the scenes, you won't actually level up until a new set of levels comes into play. So I have no idea how far we've run now. Um, I'm thinking it's about two and a half to three K, two and a half K, because I'm only on one kilometer now. So I'll probably run till we get to seven, seven and a half, or just whenever anybody tells me to stop, I suppose.
I hope the stream is not too bad, guys. So we've done 3.7 kilometers, okay. So here's another one of the great parts of Watopia. This huge waterfall here. Somebody's got a new distance goal for Kay Drisco. Well done, Kay. Well done, Drisco. Furthest run on Zwift so far for her. Or is it him? I don't know. It could be a him, couldn't it? I'm just assuming. Because it's a K, I'm thinking the, her name is K. Could be a guy. Of course it could. I think it is a guy. There. Yeah. Silly me. From sweet, uh, Switzerland. In the green there. Kevin, thank you, Tim. Kevin Drisco, well done. Good running, buddy. It's handy to have you listening in, Tim. Yeah, I should give him a ride on as well. I'm scared to touch my computer in case it crashes. So a ride on is just like Kudos and Strava. And we hand them out. While I'm here, I may as well do everyone. Oh, we're back to the cyclists now. Let's get a bit further forward. Is it Jones? What else can we do? Well done. And oh, there's a cyclist. Can't give a cyclist a ride on. No. Well done here. There's another runner there. I'm handing them out like smarties. Right, let's get back to me now. Where's everyone else gone? <laughs> oh dear. You go and give a few people a ride on and then Everyone disappears. I'm on my own look. Where's everyone gone? Maybe I'm not going fast enough. Maybe they're all ahead of me. I slowed down. Oops. <laughs> Ingrid says she's got kid duties today, so she couldn't join in. Next time, Ingrid. I'm a bit worried because I've lost all my friends. They've all disappeared. I think they're probably ahead. Try and speed up and catch anybody up, shall we?
Yeah, I, I'm behind, Tim. I don't know how I got so far behind. I spent a bit of time giving some ride-ons to people and then when I came back to me, there was nobody there. So I'll try and catch up. Oh, blimey. Miles ahead. David says thanks for the run, Tim. I was hoping that there'd be a big group of us all together running over the bridge. I can't be that far behind, surely. Unless I had a big dropout and disappeared off the screen somewhere again. And Heather says she uh, she got up very early this morning. I assume you're in the States, Heather, and ran the 9 a.m. run, UK time, 9 a.m. Uh, East Coast America time, 4 a.m. So well done to you. So I'm having to speed up, put a bit of effort in to try and catch up with the main group. They seem to be a long way ahead. Yeah, I'm in the dark. You're all in daylight. Okay. I didn't want to run at 14 kilometers an hour. And I still can't see any names up ahead of me. Thanks again, Rook Varna, for the ride on. I seem to be like miles back on the course for some reason. Because we've already run through here. Maybe I had a massive glitch again and maybe I need to log out again and log back in again. So I'm on the boardwalks, should be coming out into daylight soon. Kevin's out of it. Well done, Kevin. He's going to have a cocktail, he says. No, I can't see anyone. I don't appear to be catching anyone. Something very funny going on with my Zwift experience this afternoon. Tempted to log back out again and log back in. Just so I join everybody for the run over the bridge. Because I'm certainly not seeing any names I recognize, not seeing any other runners. I don't seem to be catching anyone even though I'm running at 14 kilometers an hour nearly. No one up ahead.
Okay, just for the sake of getting back to everyone, I am gonna log out again. So we've stopped. Hopefully menu will come up. Kevin says, ride on. Thank you very much, Kevin. Menu, end run. Okay, save and exit. This is a very frustrating run today. So we're logging back in again. I wonder if Windows is doing an update or something. Because that would certainly muck things up. Slowly logging back in again and we'll click to run with Tim when we get back in. It's so frustrating, isn't it? Here we go. Slowly coming back online. Login successful. I've never had to log in twice to recover my uh, thumb. Join another Rifter. Hopefully, Tim will appear. There he is. Come with Tim. Right, we're on. There they are ahead of us. Eleven seconds ahead of me. So if I can Hello again. This is not working out very well this afternoon for me. I don't know what's up with my computer. Maybe I should have turned it off and turned it on again before um, starting this afternoon's run. I kind of left it on from this morning. Anyway. You haven't gone over the bridge yet, have you? Thanks for the ride on Vilma. So there we are. Back with everyone I recognise now. Slow down again. Great. And thanks for the ride on Lily. Fred Vilmore says he's done 5k. He's toast now. Well done, Vilmore. Sharon says hello. 
Hi Sharon. Having some problems today, Sharon. Not going according to plan. I've had to log out of my computer twice. Well done, Krista. See you soon. Tomorrow night, 7.30 UK time. We're live on Zwift Facebook page. So come and join us then. Live on the Facebook page of Zwift. Not Zwift Community Live, but the actual Zwift page. 7.30 tomorrow night. I'll be streaming. And hopefully I'll have a computer that works. Hopefully, I think Zwift will really want a nice shot of lots of runners crossing the bridge. If we can all group together, that would be really good. go over the bridge this is such a beautiful section of the Watopia course look at that for the cyclists that's a nice downhill and then quite a tough uphill section hey we love the bridge. So you get down into the middle of the bridge and then for the cyclists who are on their smart trainers, it's quite tough climbing out of it. I'm not sure I want to look up your shorts, Tim. Watch that back on the video later. Great shot, right up your shorts. Nearly as inappropriate as the shot of Tara Langdon's bottom this morning. interested in running on Zwift then you do need a few things first and foremost access to a treadmill you may have your own you may need to go to a gym but it doesn't matter what kind of treadmill you use secondly if you are on a Mac or a PC you will need a foot pod and that foot pod needs to be an ant plus foot pod it needs to broadcast in ant plus you will also need a USB stick to plug into your computer or Mac and that will receive the signal from your Ant Plus foot pod. If you're using an iOS device, it could be an iPad, an iPhone or even Apple TV, then you will need a Bluetooth foot pod, specifically a smart Bluetooth foot pod. You can get them from Polar, you can get a Stride, or you can get a Milestone foot pod. These all connect direct to your iOS device, so there's no need for anything extra. And that really is all you need to run on Zwift. So get that foot pod, get access to a treadmill, and we'll see you on Zwift very soon. Remember the, I'm just remembering the debacle, this, this uh, first part of this run. As soon as we started, go back and have a look at the video. As soon as we started the run, there was a little glitch and everyone went all over the place, running around in circles. It looks so funny.
James said he really enjoyed that. Hopefully he'll do some more soon. Ingrid says she's glad she found the group and she's going to try and join the run tomorrow. Yeah, 7.30 UK time tomorrow evening. So 2.30 Eastern time. If you can join us, we are live on the Zwift Facebook page. Thanks, Eric. Eric Min, CEO of Zwift, co-founder of Zwift. So two kilometers to go from here. The route we're on now is going to take us out of the jungle and back to the normal Watopia. Otherwise, you can just go round and round in circles. <sighs> okay, two from now. Well, there are thereabouts, Tim. Group certainly seems to have fragmented somewhat. Um, I think it's been quite difficult to keep everyone together today. But we're now on the route through the valley, back out to Watopia's main section. And there are only three of us Don't say more for me, Tim. I'm just, I'm going to stop when I see you stop. I've, I've done my 20 miles today now, pretty much. In fact, I definitely have. So we've got Morris still with us, Tim Gross still with us, everyone else is either ahead or behind, called it a day, or gone off in a different direction, gone round into the jungle again. Well done everyone who took part though, hopefully Zwift have got some decent shots. I'm going to go away and take a hammer to my computer. At least my foot pod seems nicely calibrated though. Let's just double check that. So now I'm looking at my watch, which is telling me speed. And uh, my watch thinks I'm doing 9.3 kilometers an hour. Oh no, maybe it's miles an hour. No, it isn't. I know I'm going faster than that. Even the treadmill thinks I'm going faster than that. Very strange.
says, I'm looking good after running this morning. Richard says, this looks great. And his treadmill is arriving tomorrow. And Chris says, Apple Watch as a foot pod option. Well, in honesty, I don't know. I know some people have managed to use it. I, I can't report on whether they've had success in terms of how good their calibration has been, how accurate it's been. If it connects to Zwift as a speed source and you are confident that it's giving you accurate information, then and fine, use it, no problem. Um, I've not tried it, so I don't know. In all honesty, I can't say. The only thing I would say is that you're, you are more likely to get a more consistent, accurate pace from something that's stuck to your foot. Things that have an accelerometer in, like on your wrist or on your chest, and monitoring the bounce up and down, and it's not as precise. So that's the only thing I would say. But that doesn't mean to say you can't get a fairly accurate and decent reading out of it. I just haven't tried it. I know that if I want to use the treadmill, I would much rather have the foot pod than the accelerometer in my watch doing the job. So the three of us heading in the shadows, out of the jungle, all together. I promise you we have done or we will have done around about 10k by the time we finish. In fact, you can see, actually, if you look at where it says Tim, he's put done 9.3 kilometers. So seven, 700 meters to go, 600 meters to go. I've had to log out of my computer twice during the run because it's been glitchy and I've lost all my the runners so it's been an up and down afternoon run for me but what we've run in this morning running at lunchtime thanks Thomas for your ride on and running now I've managed to get a good 21 22 miles in today so I can count that as a long run and then we're back on tomorrow at 7 30 live on Zwift's Facebook page. Five hundred meters to go. I don't know why I didn't look at uh, that earlier, to be honest. When I said I had no idea how far we'd done, it's easy just to look at the runners next to me who have not had to log out. <laughs> Never mind. These things happen. Of course, I haven't quite done 10K, have I? Because I've had to stop and just been standing still for a while while everyone else has been running. So, fair dues. But I think I've done my my bit today.
9.9 kilometers. Well done, everybody. Thanks for joining us today. Apologies for the broken stream. I think that's me done. I think we're all done. Are you carrying on, Tin? Maybe I could just get to four kilometers. No, there, uh, Tim stopped. Thanks, everyone. That's me done for the day. Yeah, I'm done. Thank you, guys. Let's press menu here. And we'll say end run. There's a little synopsis of what we've done today. Although, obviously, that's just from this section of the run. Click OK. And that's it. My computer says that I haven't dropped any frames during the stream, so it's definitely just a problem with my computer, clearly, not with the stream itself and not with the connection to the internet. So um, it'd be interesting to see what the video looks back like uh, played back. But anyway, there we are. All done. Thank you very much, guys. We will see you tomorrow night, 7.30, the Zwift Facebook page, not Zwift Community Live, but the Zwift Facebook page will be broadcasting the run live tomorrow. So do try and join us for that. And uh, if you can run with us, that'd be great. Um, and if not, just do join us to watch on uh, the Zwift Facebook page. It'll be me streaming. So we'll see you then. Guys, take care. Thanks for joining us. Bye bye.